Hey the Barrys, welcome to Diamond on EU West. We are playing a Swain support game with a little twist. We've got Arcane Comet. Not doing Electrocute. It's just a build I wanted to test out. Recently, we've been doing Morgana with some funky items. So I thought we would add to the funkiness and bring it over to Swain to see what the... Uh, if the funky build translates to other champions. And people have been asking for Swain support a lot, so here we are. And hey, Curry West, thank you for the Prime Gaming sub. Welcome to the Berry Bush. Do hast. Anyway, we're playing with Evolution and we're up against a double poke Jin Senna. So if we don't get poked too much level one, maybe Lucian can look for a play. Um, level two, maybe? We'll see. But the sustain and the poke means that our laney phase will be in some trouble if uh, we. We don't manage to get a clean engage quite early on. Okay. Uh. Well. That was not optimal. For sure. Everyone's used all their health potions apart from me. I've still got one left. Alright, I need to use my health potion now. Level 2 and both teams are quite close here at the same time. Getting pretty spicy down here. Just try and deny center that soul if we can. How did that Q not hit me? That looked really weird. It's a shame Lucian couldn't back me up there. I think after our first recall though, if we can insta engage. We'll be okay. Senna, flash. I mean, Jin can fourth shot flash me. He's eyeing that possibility up. The cheeky devil. I think I'm dead. <sighs> Thank you for the heal, buddy. I appreciate you. I was dead there, but the heal was strong. We shouldn't have timed it right. Alright. Pretty rad. Pretty cool. Cheers. Okay. Uh, Lucian going a bit crazy in the chat. We'll try and ignore that. Might just mute the Lucian. Hey, hey, hello. Hey, Winking Annie. face. Thank you for the 25 months. Thank you to everyone that comes over to the Twitch stream. Thank you for making playing League more enjoyable. I do appreciate you guys for coming over. And um, extra thank you to people that decide to put your Prime in or whatever. Subscribe to the channel. Appreciate it. Thank you. That Senna seemed to like get weird bonus movement speed there. Like it seems like she was lagging across a little bit then. Ugh, this poke, man. We need to actually engage soon. Get up. You killed your wife, Lucian. You animal, dude. Jesus. 
haven't even talked much about this build, I don't even think. So we talked about like how the Morgana build I've been doing recently. So we're going to be picking up a uh, Dark Harvester. I think it's called Dark Night Harvester? Night Harvester. And then we're going to go into Demonic Embrace. I think it'll work quite nicely with the build, the extra movement speed. She's still managing to freeze this wave. You annoying. She does get health taxed there a little bit. It's annoying that that kind of minions there. Hey, that's Preto good. What? Preto good? Someone spending too much time at Pretimonje or something? Pilot crash, five months, thank you. It's pretty good. Oh uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So we've got Hextech Alternator. Our first damage every 40 seconds on a champion will do bonus damage. So we're slowly making our way towards it. Only, only 2,000 gold to go. Just a small drop in the ocean amount of money needed. Do they have vision in here? What are they doing? And thank you, Dirt Mover. Thank you for converting your Twitch Prime into a tier one sub. Thank you very much for sticking around. Boom. Like, the W is just such a good herding tool. They don't want to take, take the W damage. So then they put themselves in a predictable move path of where I can land my E. Pretty cool. Gonna be hitting six soon. Hi Kane, how you doing? You're a bit late. Do you think Senna is a 3 slash 4 tier in a season? I think she's tier 3 at the moment. Um, will be interesting once AP Senna could potentially be viable. But we're not at that stage at the moment. Lucian's going to be picking up a Gale Force. I kind of just want to go straight in here. Wait, there was a control ward here the entire time. Nice job, Mendo. Team's generally doing pretty well. The only lane that's kind of falling a little bit behind is maybe mid, but it's not that bad. Good content going. Ooh. Hey Alba, thank you for the eight months. How do you choose between Comet and Electrocute? Usually I do Comet on Swain. This is the first time I think I've ever done Arcane Comet. Uh, how many Comets? We've only hit 56% of uh, Comets. I want the money. I'm greedy. Mm, I need like 200 gold for a night harvester. It's really annoying. Um, so electrocute Swain probably would be better here. Um, we'd probably do keep the sorcery secondaries. Do like Manifo Band Transcendence on the secondaries. Uh, and then have electrocute plus like eyeballs or something like that would be a viable option as well, I think. I'm gonna go Silk Shoes. Or am I? Yeah, okay. 
Need 1,000 gold for Night Harvester. Hopefully we get 1k gold on this next... Uh, Okay, I don't think they can handle the uh, the Swain pressure. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, buddy. I'm not even going to get to into full core, am I, of this build. I kind of want our surname to suddenly do really badly just so this game goes on for a little bit longer. Is that bad to say? I guess it's not bad to say you want a more fair game, really, is it? Games that are over in 15 minutes are short lived fun. Nice one, two drakes now. Need 300 gold. Wait, Vlad W'd that? I wonder if I can come right behind them here. I don't think I'll get any kills here though, will I? Hello! Bam! Ow! That hurt quite a lot, actually. I'm considering ulting here, but it's not a great fight to have. Not yet, no, because I would die. It wouldn't have been worth it yet. Hold on. I need like one other person. Oh my, I'm going to have to pop my ulti now, aren't I? <sighs> okay, well we got one. I don't know why I'm annoyed I managed to kill the solo laner in a 1v3, but I'm still annoyed that uh, I put myself in that situation. The money can brace next. They should do that without killing the gen. Okay, we got Night Harvester. So the if you're not familiar with Night Harvester, I don't really blame you. It's not a very well advertised item for supports. Um, basically, you do damage. Think of like Dark Harvest um, on a 40 second cooldown, but there is no health limit. You can just as soon as you damage an enemy, you do damage to them, and the cooldown is 40 seconds per champion. That's the best way to put, to, to explain it. It's like a, an insane Dark Harvester. Oh, I wanted that. What's my favourite support at the moment? I've enjoyed playing the new Morgana build. It's always nice to play something... kind of quirky and fun and that actually works. Hit it. Thank you. Don't have ulti. Wukong. It's quite strong. We've already done 944 damage with the, the Night Harvester. Adam man, so much. 
get an assist there still anyway. Yeah, Vlad always does a lot of damage, man. Every game. Anyway. Um, we were pushing in tier 3 bot turret for some reason. A little bit strange. Akali's dead. <laughs> How's Cyan then? Cyan's struggling. He's level 12 and he's struggling to beat a 0-3 Kane. That's going to be interesting later on. Do you think that off meta supports are worth playing in gold ELO? I'm going to need a definition on off meta supports because for my, my opinion, off meta supports just means like Trindamir. Like I, I'm not sure what exactly you mean by that. Like either you're playing a support or you're not, right? Um, it's either going to work, which means it is viable. Um, or it's not going to work. <laughs> I got mints, man. Alright, we killed the Wukong. That was a hefty burst again there. Nearly got there with my E. How's AP Twitch support? I wouldn't recommend it. I know there's a popular streamer at the moment streaming it. But, like, it's the same thing. Like, people have climbed with AP Shaco, and people have climbed with all sorts of, like, random things in random places, but. It's one of those things where just because one person does it doesn't mean it's like everyone can do it. But the person in question has a lot of games on Twitch, like 10,000 plus. So um, they know pretty much everything to do with the champion at that point. So someone that can play a champion that exceptionally that well um, in that amount of games and stuff, it's, it's an anonymity. There we go. I've got to say the word. Anonymity. As opposed to actually, you know, the norm. So yeah, can AP Twitch win games? Yes. Is it actually good? I think that one's open to debate. The champion provides no crowd control at all. It's just 100% pure damage. Um, champions like that require heavy snowballing. If they mess up in lane, then they're out of the game instantly. It's like a no combat mechanic, right? So it's a super high risk, high gamble as well. I don't want to be here, man. But Mando's going crazy there, but it's not doing that much. Has he got Merc Treads? No, that route didn't seem to last that long. I think our team's messing up quite a lot right now. Shame I can get an assist for that. So far we've done 1.6k damage with the Demonic Harvest. Demonic Harvest? What am I talking about? Night Harvester. I mean, they've only taken one turret still, but it's getting a little strong. I'm getting close to the Monic Embrace. Once we get that, our damage is going to be pretty insane.
So we should have all the cash. She's been playing pretty well this game. Cloud Soul for us is spawning in 50 seconds. I don't really want to be around here too much. Although they do have... Okay, it's just Senna and Jin here. The, the rest of the team are top side. Jim just wants to clear out the wave. Okay. I participated there for sure. Cloud souls up. She should die to ignite, right? No, the extra healing he got really. Did he level up from that kill as well? Ah, uh, if only if I had demonic embrace. Probably pressure too much for that, but hey, we got it. Kane got a lot of money from that as well. One thousand gold he got from the Lucian. So yeah. This dragon should still be ours. Hey Smoke by the way, how you doing dude? Got any spare PlayStation 5s for me dude? <laughs> uh, pop a W here. Nice, I hit both of them. That W did 440 damage or something to that Wukong. With the W and the, the Harvester. Got Demonic Embrace here as well. Chase them down still. Please, sirs, I want to chase you. Oh, missing the E was bad. That's really low. Is my dot enough there? No, he healed off the Scion. Oh my god, that was a 700 heal as well. Okay, I ran it down a bit there, I guess. 1k from Demonic Embrace though already? Wait, I only just picked up this item. 4k on Night Harvester. Um, I think we could probably go like a Rylize or a Stopwatch next. Um, I think a Zonyas might be the best option. Mission has ulti. I'm surprised it didn't pop it there. They got two super creeps heading bot side. Good damage. Bit of a wacky fight this one. Akali's coming pretty deep. How does she get back over that wall? <laughs> Try to detonate them. Got the ignite of Vladimir. It's about to wear off though. He died. Nice job. At least Lucian's been cleaning up these fights. He's been really reliable. Our Sodalanas haven't been doing very well. I've only just like really realized the sign. Okay. 
I mean, it's Jin versus Lucian. There aren't that many minions available here. That Jin ult's not going to do a whole lot. I think... Man, I want to be greedy. I want to go Rylos. Yeah, I'm going to go Rylos. We've got Grievous Spoons on the Lucian and he'll be competing that soon. We've got Bramble Vest on the Cyan. I think me going Morano is a bit overkill. Especially when it's likely that they're going to convert those items into the full components. Okay, yeah, I don't want to be there. Turn up. Decent catch. We don't need to do Baron there, surely. Surely we can just end. Mendo's not here, but the whole of their team's here. Wow, that damage there was pretty huge. Just gonna try. Uh, just gonna try and CC the Vlad there. We did get the Baron though. Um, bad news though is the uh, Cloud Soul for us is um. Probably going to be theirs. We might lose all our Baron buffs left on the Lucian and the Cyan here to go for this dragon. This land is just ruining our day. 2.8k on Demonic Embrace. 5.8k on, on uh, Night Harvester. Ooh. Nice knock up there though. Good job Lucian for committing to that. W. Whoa, that damage. Let's see if we can do more. <gasps> that might kill him. That actually might kill him. Demonic Embrace, come on. 45 HP. Are you kidding me, dude? Where did he go? <laughs> okay. Oh, he did die in the end. I'll just go in here. Put Ignite back up. Just pop out on the cane, the ignite. Shame the Akali didn't help me at all there, though. How's Cyan doing? He's gonna have passive. Yeah. Should have just been able to kill the cane off that right there, though, if we had a little bit more help. This Rylize is expensive, but we're nearly there. Damage have we done? 3.7k demonic, 69.49 on the Night Harvester. On. 300 gold, please. Yeah, our demonic embrace is doing more damage than some people's mythics. 
In fact, everyone's mythics. <laughs> and we bought it quite late as well. Now this uh, Sen is doing a Divine Sunder. I wonder if she watched my video. Nice. Ooh, that damage was huge. Oh no, Vlad, please don't. Okay, thank you. Quadra kill. I'll tell you what, I haven't even bought a Rise yet. This patch. So close as well. Yeah, it was a good game. I would honor the Lucian, but I had to mute him early for flaming. I don't know if it was banter or not or what, but I had to mute him quite early. I don't think I can honor anyone actually. <laughs> it's pretty troll. Top on damage. Wow, really? We actually were top on damage considering Lucian was popping off like crazy. Wow. A six kill Swain. With 10k gold deficit over the Lucian. Like, I, we did more damage than Lucian. That's insane. He had 19 more kills than us. And 10,000 gold more. And we still we did more damage than him. That's insane. Okay. <laughs> that is actually mental, right? Okay. We're going to be building Night Harvester on everyone. Everyone, all right. It's crazy, crazy damage. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the Swain game. Finally, managed to get one for YouTube, so I hope you guys appreciate that. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Don't forget to follow if you're watching on Twitch. And as always, don't forget to stay very awesome.